Good morning, Zodiac. This is the Soul Family Daily Collective Read for whoever resonates. I'm Sagittarius. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, sun, which this reading is for the weekend. Really, this reading is about the full moon and you know, solar eclipse, which is already on us now as I'm doing it. So, 27 degrees, Taurus becomes very significant, exactly, sextile my natal moon in Cancer, and also 2 degree quincunx to my natal sun in Sagittarius, and my sun, which is uh, ridiculously challenged. Um, <laughs> um, I have to laugh, because it's just sort of like I'm done. That's like how I'm handling. I'm just kind of done giving it energy and worrying about it. Like my channel, what is this? somebody in the other day, I look out five, five years. I think the first video I ever posted, and I think it's been over a year. It's been over a year. And I took this tamp time off and rebranded, and it's just been a cluster ever since. But I am giving up. So I finally came to my conclusion is just, I'm going to do what the fuck I want. I'm going to do the readings I want and what feels right. And this a singles reading doesn't feel right. So I'm just not going to do it, you know? meet the soulmate but i'm um, coming up with something else i'm gonna do a pull through daily for singles and a weekend read you know um and i'm gonna keep the the uh, soul family read the way i got it basically and just do what i want and experiment there with hopefully some people that relate and connect at a deep spiritual level uh so the moon's had this uh Full moon's had a huge impact already. Um, yesterday was bad. The day before is worse. Today I feel so light, like something's lifted. And as I say, my girlfriend and I have gracias, adios, gracias, adios. And uh, so thank God. And you know, I was hoping. Um, my son's just, you know, my ego, myself. It's uh. <laughs> It, it's it's funny even Mexico I mean because why uh, I, I, I don't know maybe I'm certainly not trying as hard as I could um, but I my girlfriend doesn't really speak English although she's picking some up and I told her not your job to speak English my job to learn Spanish just be patient which she is and help me which she does and so I'm poquito poquito <laughs> little bit a little bit and uh she's always saying poco we poco mi amor <laughs> um so we get by and we have the translator for the longer more complex things you know but more and more i'm trying to just pound out simple things and it's like it's really hard for me like what's the word for color i don't know but so when i'm out and about you know if i can speak at all i'm not not i know it's politically incorrect but it's such a strong feeling i feel like maybe a retarded five-year-old native Spanish speaker might speak I don't know that's at my best and so it's kind of uh, demeaning and and that's the whole thing with this Sun square and the Sun when I say it's challenged um, and um, now with Saturn square Venus it's that's just not being seen that was the story of my childhood so I know where that's coming from um, that's just a challenge you know and I'm just hoping with today, uh, it's releasing. And I think what I released, you know, because I think this is really about releasing. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a four card read because I, I can get what I need off of it. I mean, I was thinking of doing the Celtic Cross and all that. It's coming, I'm not even going to need the cards, but we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, we'll move into that, I hope. No, when I hear it, it's true. It's not me speaking, it's not my ego speaking. It's not like my ego is saying, hey, you know. You know, it's like, uh, that's why I learned to respect the voice within, you know, it says you're shut down for your own good, do not resist, I'm like, okay. Um, so we'll do our four, four card uh, regular read, just focusing on how this uh, energy is affecting us. I'm hoping like, uh, what I'm hoping for is uh, the audience for this, who I hope would be uh, spiritual people. Just around manifestation, spirituality, love, relationship to it's a love and relationship channel. But here I want to focus more on our soul's work and a lot on manifestation. I think I have a lot to say about that. I'm kind of in it myself, working out things, seeing what works. You know, knowing what works for me. I think it's so personalized too. 
I'm always interested, please comment on how other people, what they might like. Music's really important for me. I'm not normally a big music guy, but the manifestation is, it's been hugely uh, you know, important. Um, so, uh, we're thinking about that on this moon, too. Uh, I keep thinking, like, okay, between now and I think the, the new moon, um, forgive me, I forget the date, but it's like the 10th, maybe, of December. You know, my birthday's the 17th, so I know I'm, I've been looking at it. But between now and this this uh, new moon in Sag, um, I think it's the Lionsgate energy for May 8th, what I was saying, the astral train that's coming. At the, I'm thinking most of us, talk to me, uh, probably received, like, some, at least we're getting a sense of what our manifestation is, awareness of it, or... You know, when you're living a spiritual life, you know, it, it may be opportunity, it may be just awareness, it may be just insight, self-insight, usually. I mean, it's not going to be like, ah, oh, I see, capitalism doesn't really exist either, that's just another way the reptilians eat. <laughs> not that kind of insight. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, or it could be something else, if we've been actively manifesting, you know, the career that we love and want, the house the person uh, whatever we want inner peace if you're smart <laughs> go there first go first to inner peace and get that and then from there uh, this just goes a lot easier <laughs> that's kind of another thing now for me it's like anytime I start to lose my inner peace and my girlfriend is so centered so she sees it she's like me and her and I'm like I know this one I have to deal with like the government for some reason back in the states and stuff that's the one thing, it's like my Achilles heel. So I'm like, okay, what can they do? So we always count heavily. <laughs> Bottom of the deck in this reading, five of pentacles, lack, mentality. Honestly, this is the root of all evil for manifestation. This is it, this is the root, this is the worst thing. And that's what we're dealing with. You know, I was watching, I was looking at it, I look at the mother holding a child. I, I love myself and, you know, I know where I came from and I know what I've dealt with. And I've spent my whole life looking at my childhood, it's just I'm ready to move forward. Um, but that certainly is like the energy that's all over me, you know. And I'm thinking about that a lot. I pray literally that this is what's being released here but this is about releasing mm -hmm. and I think as a Buddhist you know um, all sentient beings um, deserve peace deserve to be recognized you know deserve to exist it's almost like with this energy I've often felt like I just uh, don't don't really belong here don't want to be, exist at all and only more recently with intentions I've had to tell myself literally no, no David this is a, not a coma dream um, this is not a, some kind of a, you know, alternate reality created in a computer program by a highly sophisticated teenager no this is reality and I'm in this body and here I am and um, it's really hard for me to keep myself down to earth. Like, I mostly kind of want to try to be on the other side. <laughs> I'll put it other than that. Okay. <clears throat> well, I, okay. I don't know. I'm resonating. <laughs> this could speak to fire energy in your chart. And, the, you know, the fire houses, um, one, five, and nine houses and transits to that and uh, we always got to think about our progress charts you know significant for me Scorpio moons now at like two degrees it just went in um, and I'm like just in time for the Pluto to really hit exact uh, opposition to my, my cancer moon that's coming and I'll have a good old Scorpio but well maybe help me deal with it you know Maybe a Scorpio moon will hardly notice it. Be like, you know, I'm just like, go ahead, Pluto. What else can you squeeze out of me? I, you know, I got my soul. But there's been a lot of effort and a lot of work. I don't know, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm really tired. 
I don't think if we're relating so bad, maybe it's some sense of this too. I mean, I think that this energy has been coming in and, and I think it's worse on a lot. I'm not by as sensitive as many people. And I'd like to think there's light workers, energy workers and empaths watching this reading, but um, you're likely to really have been feeling it. You know, the, the so-called ascension symptoms which I used to think was a bunch of bullshit, frankly, but five grams of magic mushrooms in a few hours of time, <clears throat> outside of time in my body, convinced me otherwise. And the this energy now, it's like dead on us here. The lion's gate's dead on us. It's coming here. I almost, you could see this too, is like, this is like trying to fight, fight my way out of this energy of not feeling good enough. So what do I do? do this and I do that and I do this and I do and everything I'm doing is trying to just feel good enough it's not really authentic I don't I'm not really it's when you come from this really bad childhood and you know all of that so many people do it's such a challenge you know you, we end up like kind of maybe they're necessary battles all part of a process you know but they're battles that when we win them um, <clears throat> we just have another battle this speaks to me of the last one. This is our energy right now. We're, I definitely feel I'm healing, I'm recuperating, but I'm ready. I'm just about ready, you know? I don't know how to look at them. It's just about ready. It's going to get back in the fray. It's the same thing the other day. Interesting. And I got to think that's not just me. And, you know, it's been like, I think like maybe maybe by getting wounded, maybe this resonates too. Maybe by getting wounded fairly recently, um, it gives us time to really think about what we really want to do. And what we really want to do is what this is all about, what Lionsgate's all about, what this is all about. Now is this beginning of this new cycle of our life, which is probably a long cycle. I'm thinking, to me, it's like I'm thinking the next 30 years is kind of being decided here. And, and I'm 62 almost, so it's kind of the rest of my life. So it's kind of important to know where you're at in this cycle um, because, you know, it really is uh, important right now that we understand what it is we want and we're at peace with ourselves. And, you know, um, because I think like um, it, this is energy where I say um, thoughts become like arrows that hit their mark before even being flung. And that's in terms of manifestation, of course. So um, I see him uh, really thinking about it, you know. <clears throat> Maybe the conclusion he comes to is like, you know what, I'm not going back into that war. I've had enough of that. So such a beautiful card. I always tried to channel the high priestess, you know. Uh, a lot of respect, and the, unfortunately now, in the blocking position, the high priestess here is reversed. And it's having trouble with our spiritual connection. Um, as we prepare for this final stage, this last action, in a process, this doesn't, you could be 18, I don't know, but there's some process, you've been working and working and working, and then, um, You've been recently wounded, um, and there's introspection because you're down, it's downtime, you put down. Remember what was said to me, it was in May, I think, early May, I heard you are shut down for your own good, do not resist. And I just smiled, and I shut down my channel, and I kind of shut down myself, uh, and I got it, you know, there's nothing but the hermit coming up. Now, I'm just be surprised to see it. It's nothing but the death card coming up, change, metamorphosis. This is still, I still am not connecting with the higher self. And I think that's maybe what needs to happen. Maybe why I have to go slow. Maybe why there's a wound here that I'm recovering from so that I can sync up with the high priestess and bring this energy into the upright. Because this is just blocking. It's not against us it's just this is almost could call this advice <clears throat> okay so this is advice on what's blocking us i should just call it that um, now here's what i call advice from spirit <laughs> and that's the lovers 
bison spirit definitely speaks to Gemini. You know, this whole thing is happening at uh, the north nodes at one degree Gemini. So it's close here, close enough to be conjunct, you would say in astrology, to this event with the full moon. And in that, that's the energy of lovers. And that's a Gemini card. So, it could be, um, another thing with this, with advice from spirit, it's to focus on what we love. And this, this is, I guess, hopefully you've heard this a million times, okay? We don't focus on what we don't want. We don't, we focus on what we want. That's a big lesson for me, big lesson for me. Let it go, D, let it go. That's what I tell myself a lot now, things that get to me just the world, and I have to reduce my exposure to the news, which there is no journalism, so I'm not in the fake news from the fair death cult. I just, you know, leave that out, you know. So this is a lot about that, really focusing on love and what we want, what we need in terms of love and relationship. Uh, try to align it with the high priestess spiritually, with our spiritual path here. All of the readings of the heart spread this week by sign uh, and uh, still working, but um, today um, I'll be doing um, Sagittarius and Capricorn, and uh, tomorrow we'll get uh, also um, Pisces and Aquarius. And these are heart spreads where I'm really looking at what is our alignment using the heart spread with our own uh, anima, animus projection of love and relationship. How is that working? So it's really focusing on the manifestation aspect. Um, and um, I'm really enjoying doing those readings. So also on the heart spread, also up for the end of uh, November, those readings are up by sign already. So if you want to see that, that focuses more on who your person is more. This re week's readings, like this what I'm seeing here, focuses on our own alignment with our own relationship with love and romance and relationships. Wow, <clears throat> the strength card, what an outcome. So I always say <laughs> with strength, it's a blessing. And we're being blessed by strength. So I, I, I've been thinking this full moon is, is positive, but that's for me. And that's one of the problem I have with so much of the astrology that's out there is the, the predictions are based upon you know, the collective and the outer planet and, and the transits of the planets, you know. It doesn't really account for our natal positions, which I just think are like so important that you just have to look at them. Because what may from the position of transit to transit, transit look like a terrible thing to any individual, it may be a wonderful thing, a blessing. That's literally true, guys. I'm an astrologer, okay? <laughs> well, so... This uh, is the energy also of kind of be aware that we're going to need strength, okay? Um, and this is the, we're uh, going to be aligning ourselves with our own inner self, which I certainly work on. Prayer helps a lot for me, being able to just pray. Last couple of days, some prayers out loud and, you know, yes, I feel like it helped, you know, lit some candles. Uh, so, um, feels a lot lighter already. I think as we move on now into Sagittarius, nothing against Scorpio, I'm a Scorpio Venus, but I'm mostly Sag. I think, uh, we're going to see things start popping off. And really, if you're not having, you don't feel like you're seeing, this could be still not seeing your manifestation with the high priestess in reverse. Could kind of speak to that too. Um, which might be true for me as well, you know, and it's, uh, it's kind of, it's, I don't want to, it's not to feel sorry for myself, but it's doubly bad for me because uh, for years I wanted this great love. No, I have that. And it's like, okay, and it's real and it's great. It's like, and it relieves so much of my energy. I don't have to put that towards relationship and worrying about it. And oh my God, and what, the, it's just like, ah, but uh, then now there's so much else. And that's what the challenge is for me. All the rest of it, which karma, boom. I never really paid that much attention to. I had enough to get by, which I do. 
Um, so I'm really worried about material things, so focused on love. You know, but now um, that's coming. You know, and maybe with success uh, comes difficulties too of their own, you know, changes. If you don't like change. Um, and this is why I think it's saying, you know, thoughts have become like arrows that hit their mark before even being flung. So look, why we got to focus only on love, only what do we love. I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, uh, hypnotherapy, the last I got, the guys charged 150 bucks an hour, which is a lot. It was in 2009, and it was in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And he was like a TV hypnotist, and he's really good. Uh, and after the second session, he, he said... Uh, you know, I paid him and he said, listen, I got to tell you, Dave, he said, uh, I don't really think there's a lot more we can do. You've done a lot of inner work. He said, I don't think there's anything wrong. Like, uh, my opinion, you know, I could keep, you could keep coming. I keep taking your money, but you don't really look like a rich man. Uh, so I just want to give you some advice. And why don't you just wake up in the morning and just ask yourself, David, what do I love? And then go do that. And that's all you got to do. That's it. And, and that was like, blew my mind. And it's still to this day, like the hardest thing. Now these, the way you said, just wake up in the morning and ask yourself, what do you love? And then go do that. You know, like it sounds so easy. But that might be what this advice is. Just do what we love. That's kind of what I'm feeling from this whole experience. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to do what I want to. Maybe that's what I'm getting out of this, you know, and let chips fall where they may. So thank you guys. If you think anywhere to share this, please do tell a friend to tell a friend, like, thumbs up, please comment, appreciate it. And if you haven't, do subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you guys.